Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Halloween Happy, where Halloween is more than just once a year. Today, 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 it's Friday the 13th. So happy Friday the 13th to all the Halloween happy friends. Right now, right now, I should be working. I'm drinking coffee. It's like later in the day. I had a late start to my morning, which you guys will hear about soon. One of my favorite mugs. Did you guys know these are like worth a lot of money apparently? I to put on some hand sanitizer. Got this kind, uh, it's the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, which is my favorite scent from Bath & Body. Although I do love like all of their fall ones, really. Got this from Chelsea a while ago. Maybe like two years ago now, Chelsea? I don't know. Okay, so it's Friday the 13th, and I actually wanted to have a video planned for you guys. I have videos coming up, so stay tuned. Turn on those notifications so that way you know when I have a new video. Last night, guys, I had... A little adventure. By the way, I am wearing a Jason shirt. You get, I mean, you got it. Last night, guys, Denali, Raven, and myself, we had a little adventure. I'm gonna tell you about it. This is for the people that watch my channel who like the longer videos. I don't know how long it's gonna be. Just the rambly, talky videos. I mean, I guess they're all rambly and talky videos, right? Telling you a story. I didn't go to bed until a little after midnight. I was just laying in bed, scrolling on my phone, as one would normally do. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I will be talking about this in a video coming up on my channel. But I spook myself a lot. Every night that I go to bed, I think this is the night that someone's going to break in my house and kill me. Every single night, I think that. I know, it's not normal. Trust me, I know. Every morning I wake up, I'll open my eyes, and I'm like, I survived. So that's my mindset. I always watch my laptop. I watch Pretty Little Liars. That's like my bedtime show, guys, because it's spooky. It's like a crime, mystery, thriller kind of show. It's not a kid's show. It's a good show, okay? So when I go to bed, the lights that I leave on are um, my bathroom lights, I turn on my Halloween lights in the bathroom, and then I have a kitchen light above the sink that I leave on, and then there's two lights, well three lights, outside towards the deck in the back of the house. There's three lights that I put on. Then I also put the porch light on in the front. There's a lamp that I turn on by the front door. I do that just because so I can see, so the house is kind of lit up when I'm walking through it, like if I'm going to the bathroom and I can just see, see if anyone's gonna kill me. I end up falling asleep, and I wake up maybe about 1, 20, 1, 30. It's really hot. You know when you wake up, it's very groggy at first, like that groggy feeling where it's like, oh, I'm trying to wake up, but it still feels like I'm sleeping, like this is hard to wake up from. Pitch black in my room. I thought I was still kind of sleeping because I was like, why is it so dark? Turn my head to the left and I look and you can see the bathroom right from like where I lay out on my bed. That's weird. I was like, the lights are off. I was like, my Halloween lights are off. The kitchen light is off. The whole house is dark. Freaking out in my head. I'm like, this is the night that someone is going to kill me. Like, this is the night. And so I'm like, they could be anywhere in my house because the house that I live at is there's like different entrances. Trying to keep calm, I need to grab my phone. So confused of why the lights were off, why the electricity was off. Get out of bed slowly. The killer in my house can't hear me and Denali and Raven are waking up. Walk out of my bedroom and there's like a little pantry thing where you can put like towels and stuff. The flashlights in there, the batteries don't work so they're all like really dim, pointless. So I grabbed this, a good one guys. I was scared and I opened it up. Like, oh my God, when I open this, there's gonna be someone standing right in front of my face. I'm trying to be very quiet because I'm really, at this point I am worried that someone's in my house. It's just so weird for the electricity to go out, like it wasn't storming. My office, the room that I'm in now, has the electrical electrical box, I guess, where you can reset the electricity. I'm trying to open it in the dark and I'm trying to like hold the light up, making sure no one's coming near me, about to stab me, like starting to freak out and I could tell because I'm like not really thinking straight, but I'm like, okay, you need to relax because you don't want to die. Go grab my phone in case I need to call 911. I didn't know what to do. I called my landlord. Obviously they didn't answer and I ended up calling like 30 times because I was deathly afraid. I was like, let me call because if I die, then it'll be recorded that the killer turned off the electricity. Walking through the house slowly, but kind of hiding my light because I didn't want the killer 
I sound crazy, don't I? I didn't want the killer to see me, but I needed to see him. This was really scary, guys. I walked to the front window, looking outside. Well, maybe the whole street lost electricity. Open the curtain very slowly so I could peek one eye through. The whole other side of the street had electricity. All the houses looked so happy and so safe. My mind automatically thinks, well, hell, everyone has electricity except for my house. Someone's in here. I hurry up and put on my shoes. I grab my dog's leashes. I'm like leashing them up. We gotta get out of here. I'd rather just go sleep in my car. End up taking them out to the car and I lock the door in the car and I'm like still trying to call the landlord. I don't know what I'm thinking. Let me drive around because I want to get away from here. Me, Denali, and Raven are driving in our neighborhood. I feel like there's only some houses that will have porch lights on and have lights on, but for the most part, the whole neighborhood doesn't turn their lights on because they think it's safe. And it's not. Those are the neighborhoods that people look for. Turning the path that I normally run on, oh, it's really dark out here. The houses on the other side of the street had lights and so I'm driving drive to the next street street is just pitch black okay well the street lights aren't even on so that's kind of bizarre drive out into like the main intersection of course there's lights and everyone's living a happy life not thinking someone's gonna kill them tonight so I drive back around and then I like do a square little drive driving back up to my street that I live on kind of creeping and I am looking online while I'm driving like I know bad but there was no one driving it was just me I was driving really slow I was trying to look online to see if I could see if there was an outage in our neighborhood and I look up and I see um, West Star which is like the electrical company for our city see that there's a West Star truck out at the electrical pole thing trying to get the electricity back on i'm just driving well, that makes me feel a little bit better um i'm not crazy i mean i am crazy for booking it out of my house but i'll be okay and so i end up um because my internet was lagging so i end up putting in zip code that i'm in it did say <laughs> I felt so dumb. It did say like, hey, we are aware that there is an electrical outage. That made me feel better. Okay, and I even said in my car to my dogs, I was like, guys, we're gonna be okay. I was like, no one is trying to kill us. It's totally fine. Gives an estimated time that electricity would be out for like an hour. Well, what if the killer cut all of the electricity out? Drive by kill, little, you know what I'm saying? Little drive by murder spree. Oh, I was like, you think you're trying to trick someone. I come in the house and I bring Denali and Raven. And then of course I take my flashlight because I felt like I was like in insidious or like the conjuring or something. I felt like in a horror movie. Come back inside, lock the door. I kind of feel better because there's an electrician over there. Let me look in the rooms just to make sure that it's safe. So I just check all the rooms. Don't see anyone trying to kill me. I'm just sitting on my bed and I turn my phone on the option of where you can save the battery because it was like at 50%. I'm laying in bed. I hear like this loud boom. Oh, the electrician got electrocuted probably. It was so loud. I get up and I'm looking around. Let me try the electrical box again. So I switch it over. Electricity comes on and I'm like, all right, turn my face on turn the lights on again get pretty little wires going like let's go to bed I'm feeling good you know still thinking that someone probably is trying to kill me but then I end up falling asleep pretty quickly and I wake up around it's like 3 30 I believe you know when you wake up at 3 30 that's like the worst time to wake up because that's when the demons will get you hot again the fans off all the lights are off and so I'm like not again like this is creeping me out get out of bed I get my little light again, walking around, just kind of seeing. Check out the window. The street across from me still has electricity, but everything is out on my side. Look online again to see like if there's an outage, if it's been reported. There was no estimated time because they were still looking into it, I guess. Can electricity come on? Because I can't sleep in the dark. It was so quiet. Too quiet. You know that feeling where it's almost like, did you lose your hearing? Because that's how quiet it is. Does that make sense? I'm laying in bed. 30 minutes pass. Lights come back on. Thank you. Hopefully I can get some rest. The electricity stayed on. I was so scared, guys. I love spooky stuff and I love scary scary stuff but I do think like I do get really scared and paranoid that someone is going to kill me I wanted to share that story with you guys so you can get like a glimpse of what a paranoid person I am every night it is a spooky adventure okay, well it was after midnight I'm like it's Friday the 13th like this is when it's happening I mean I guess if someone murders you Friday the 13th would be like make it worth it right who's in my house now trying to kill me who 
Who? It was a late start to the morning because I didn't really get that much sleep, so I kind of overslept. Things are fine. It's Friday the 13th, the sun is shining. Wanted to do this video for you guys to say hi and to wish you a happy Friday the 13th. So I thought it was so funny. I was like, maybe some people will get a kick out of it even though it's not that entertaining. Let me know in the comments if you guys spook yourself out like that, like if you're really easy to scare and if you uh, think someone's gonna kill you every night and if you're thankful for your life every time you wake up in the morning let me know if you guys want more halloween happy and want to know what i'm up to what kind of halloween things i'm doing don't forget to check me out on instagram it's halloween happy and i also have a facebook page all my social media links are listed down below and don't forget to hit that notifications bell that way you are notified when i have a new video out do follow me on my social media links because i'm going to be doing i'm planning a video to do um that i'm gonna need your guys's help with follow me there so when i post what i need you guys can be involved we're almost on my youtube anniversary guys i think it's like in a week almost like a week and a half two weeks but i hope you guys like this video i hope you uh I don't know, I hope it kept you busy as you were like doing your hair, or brushing your teeth, eating something, taking a nap. As always guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I really, really appreciate it. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And let me know what your Friday the 13th plans are. I'm sweaty. It's really hot. And I hope this video finds you having a Halloween happy kind of day. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.